Right, all new video this morning from Miami where damaging storms are already uprooting trees ahead of the hurricane. About four hours away from this damage is where we find our own Clay Lapard. He is in Tampa with the latest on the storm impact there. Clay, what are you starting to see there this morning? The time to prepare has just about passed. The rain began overnight, and thanks to Hurricane Ian, it'll be quite some time before the sun peeks through the clouds here again in Tampa. For Quayshawn Marshall, we can, make, we can make it out of here. You're gonna try to. One last fuel up will hopefully help him return home to Jacksonville after the looming hurricane cut his vacation short. All I can say right now is I hope that everyone here is safe, but hopefully you don't have to evacuate in Jacksonville. Who knows how the storm will go. This gas station serves as one of the only options left here in Tampa. You open 24 hours. With many others we saw, as well as grocery stores and restaurants closed until Ian passes. All of Florida's 67 counties already under a state of emergency as resources remain mobilized across the state waiting to see what part will deal with the most damage. In the days leading up, millions were urged to evacuate the Sunshine State, with threatening storm surge and possible winds exceeding 100 miles per hour. With Hurricane Ian inching closer to the Gulf Coast, rain and wind here only expected to intensify as the day continues. Reporting in Tampa, Clay Lapard, News 5.